Hello, we are on lesson 5.7 today, starting on page 267. We're going to be working on addition sentences again. Remember, addition sentences aren't like this with words and periods and capitals. Addition sentences have numbers and symbols in them, and they're called sentences because they have the symbols and an answer at the end. So. Looking at this picture here, it wants us to circle the group that's joining. So if we have four birds to start, this bird is the one that's coming or being added to. Yesterday we were supposed to circle the first group we were starting with. Today we're going to be circling the groups that are being added. For this one, it's just one bird that's coming to join them. So we have four birds. One more bird is being added, so we're going to circle that one because that's the one group that's being added to the first group, our equal sign, and our number five. And we read that as four plus one is equal to five. On this page, we have one, two, three questions to go through. And you guys are just going to listen for a moment while I say the word problem. There are four ants. Some more ants are added to the group. There are seven ants in all. How many ants are being added? So this one kind of gives us it. It shows us the numbers for you to trace. But we have how many in the first group? Four. How many are being added? Three. And after we add them, the number we get is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four plus three that's showing that these here, if you have four and you have three, you put them together, it is equal to seven. Circle the group that's being added. So not the group we're starting with, but the group that's being added. Circle those ants. Now we're going to look at the worms. There are two worms. A group of worms comes and joins those two worms. How many worms do we have all together? So now we have to figure out two numbers here. We know that this is the equal sign and we know that this is the group that's being added because they already gave us that two. So let's count them up. How many worms do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I put my nine here? Nine is the number that we have all together. So that goes after the equal sign. So put your nine over here and then the number of how many are being added goes there because it's two plus this group to get to nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two plus seven is equal to nine. We have six bugs and four bugs are joining those six. So this is the group that's being added or the group that's joining. How many do we have all together? You have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep counting on six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So six plus four is equal to ten. flip to the next page. We've got some more just like this to practice. But now you guys are going to tell an addition word problem for these. 
work with somebody at home to try to think of some. I'm going to give you some examples. We would need to circle the set that's being added. We know that's the group that comes after the plus sign. So that's going to be this group. The one after the plus sign, the group that's being added. So go ahead and circle those groups. Now we can look at it and do our word problem. It doesn't tell us the answers at the end, so we're going to have to figure that out, how many and all. So looking at this top one, 3 plus what is equal to what? 3 plus, we got to figure it out. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I shouldn't have come down so far with my circle. 3 plus 5 is equal to... Got to put them all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's why having a picture there is so much easier. Because if you just had these numbers there, you might have to draw little dots like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's also why our 10 frame is so handy. If we have a 10 frame, And we have our three, one, two, three, and then we have our next group, one, two, three, four, five. It's easy for us to see that there's five, six, seven, eight. And when we get into lots bigger numbers, those ten frames will really help us counting by fives and tens. So let's look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. It gave us a picture and it gave us the number there. And we're going to add this group. Three. And we are going to get our total number, or how many it is equal to. We have 6, 7, 8, 9. That's why counting on is so important. It goes so much quicker once you learn how to count on. 2, because we have 2 butterflies. And we're going to add this group. How many are in this group? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2 plus 8 is equal to 1 tip. It's easier to count on when you have smaller numbers. So if you want to, you can go like this. We know they have 8, 9, 10. You don't have to do 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can add both ways because remember, 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. The same as 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Oops, my one did not touch that line at the bottom, and neither did my zero. There we go. Alrighty, this page here. You guys are going to tell an addition word problem. Complete the addition sentence and draw a picture of real objects to show the problem. So we're not going to use counters for this one. We've got to use real objects. We get to make up our own. So. I am going to do one down here. You can do it with me or you can make up your own. There is one strawberry in the bowl. Grandma washes one Four, five, six. Grandma washes six more strawberries to add them to the bowl. How many strawberries do we have in all? Please forgive that quick drawing of strawberries. I would normally like to add some details to it, but you guys can tell what I'm talking about. So. We have one strawberry, that's our first group we're starting with, so our one goes up top. And then Grandma's washing some more to add to the group, so we're going to trace our plus sign because we know we're adding. We're not taking any away, we're giving more to the group. And she washed how many more? 
she washed six strawberries to add them to the group. So how many strawberries would we have all together if they were all in the same bowl? Six and one more is seven. Good for your homework today. You're just going to be completing this paper. You're going to work on the addition word sentence, talk about the first group, how many are being added, and how many there would be in all. On the back, we have another word problem about these sets of dogs. Circle the set that's being added. Trace and write to complete the addition sentence. So just fill in the blanks and trace them. How many more counters would you place to model a way to make nine? So how many more do you need to add to that 10 frame for it to make nine? Draw them and then just count and tell how many trumpets there are and write the number. Send me a picture of these pages, please.